I've beefed up the Slayer 007 circuit and I'm using a 2N3055 transistor. Um, I've got a little schematic that I've drawn out here. This Slayer 007's uh, exciter circuit is it's um, very useful. A lot of variations can be done there and uh, I've got a 2N4148 diode going from emitter to the base. 10k ohm resistor there, I'll swap that with a 10k pot and play around with the resistances. And I've just um, very faintly drawn in a second transistor there, which I haven't got at the moment, but that should reduce the amp draw. I can run that circuit on anything up to about 48 volts, the way I've got it set up. And I'm getting good good uh, results out of this. This is um, uh, 10 mil lead. And that's lighting up real good. And it's pretty pretty bright in this room, but you, you can certainly see how bright that gets. Um, just a normal lead anywhere around the vicinity, out to around here, it's still still lit up. So that's very bright. And uh, here's a CFL tube, which I get, can get to light up by touching near the wire and around the tower. In the tower is ex extremely bright. Um, and my 4 watt CFL, I should get good brightness out of that as well. Okay. Now, what I really wanted to show was, uh, uh, just unplug it here, is a bit of a sting in that hot wire if I touch it. I've got it to produce plasma, uh, which I'll show here. Here's the point to watch. And I'll hook it up now and you'll see a slight plasma production there. And if you can see that purple glow there, that's uh, plasma production. And uh, another thing too, I'll just wave this around the glass, you can see I don't really get much light out of it, but I can enhance that field if I put the hot bleed into um, the water. This is just water, it's fake snow, um, just says me spilling it, and it's a chemical that, that makes it soft and fluffy, retains moisture really well, and I've got metal foil around. But now what happens when I put the CFL just near the glass, okay, I'm extending that excitation out and it enhances the field um, and I don't understand why but now the field is very strong all around this glass so it seems that water enhances the field and um, it's not too dangerous to play around with I do get a, a bit of spark if I put my finger in there you can probably see some sparks being made but uh, nothing that hurts, can't feel it and so, yeah, just trying to understand why that water enhances that field. Um, if I put this in there, it comes to full brightness. I'll just lean this up against the glass. And a uh, nice effect here with my capacitance. Body's capacitance there, you can see me making light up in the tube. And it takes a, a bit of a load both lights running there, quite bright. I'll just turn the light off so you can see the amount of light I get out of this fluorescent tube. Uh, wireless here, I put it inside, it's very bright. So I'm thinking uh, if we ever have a blackout, I should be okay here. And. Uh, Running two lights there, so we're getting good brightness. I've run the wire into an adjacent room here, the bathroom, and I've got the hot wire hanging just above the water. Um, you can't quite see it. I'll... There's the fluorescent tube. When that adjusts, you might be able to see better. Okay, so it's not quite in the water. It's just uh, above the water. If it touches the water, it shorts out. It doesn't work. But whatever it's above the water, 
I get good light. Um, here's the neon. It's working in here as well. It doesn't work off the water. But the lead light does. The water is energised. Here's a, a lead. And that's working off the water. If I touch the wire, that's super bright. But the water around it, now that's a tub half full of water, and it's energised. So that's running along a wire.